What we've got here is uh, we're in the Mississippi River Gulf Outlet. This has been deauthorized by the Corps of Engineers. It's formerly it's a deep draft navigation channel, which was a shortcut from the Mississippi River to the Gulf. What we've got is Pine Bluff Sand and Gravel is our subcontractor that's supporting our effort here. They're basically filling in, creating an underwater berm, underwater dike, and so ultimately you'll have this constructed wall, if you will, underwater, earthen wall, rock on each side, coming up in the middle sand, the sand core, and then the piles can be driven through that such that we'll have one continuous wall across the, uh, across the channel. Right behind me we've got basically the 66 inch diameter reinforced pre-stressed concrete piles which form the vertical piles of the, of the wall structure. Each one of those piles is 144 foot long. Uh, they're cast in individual segments which are 16 foot long and then they're strung together, uh, pre-stressed and grouted so that you get one continuous pile. Uh, the weight of the, each pile is probably about 96 tons and essentially that does form the basis and, the, and, the, and the, the full extent of the vertical piece of the wall. Of the 144 foot pile, roughly then 114 foot is embedded in the, in the marsh soil down to the basically the Pleistocene layer. What they're looking for in terms of uh, the geotechnical conditions, when all is said and done, the last few Feet, they want to have basically 10 blows per foot uh, of pile driving to get it, to embed it. And working in the weather is, is, is one of the biggest challenges we have because basically we've got two, two conditions that we've got to be concerned about. One is thunderstorms and lightning. The second is wind conditions such that when we're operating with tall rigs on barges, we don't exceed the safety standards for what we expect with, re with regard to wind velocities on either the cranes or the piles. And essentially, uh, if you're dealing with 25 mile an hour winds or more, you got problems. The wall itself will be the biggest, obviously the biggest piece of the project. Again, you're gonna see 1,276 of these piles stretch from the Gulf Intercoastal Waterway gate structure all the way on over to Mr. Go, only to be broken in the middle there by that Bayou Bienvenu gate. We'll have another face operational which means that they'll have two of these crews setting piles at the same time. And then ultimately they'll be working night shifts, so you'll be basically running uh, essentially 24 hours a day, 20 hours of uh, full work, four hours of maintenance to keep this uh, operation.